I'm Kinsa Nimaranele with your latest news. In your headlines, Mandela Freedom Race takes place in Pal today. Two blasts rock Nigeria's flashpoint city, Maiduguri. Today is the 22nd anniversary of former President Nelson Mandela's release from the Victor Festa prison near Pal in the Western Cape. Former President F.W. Ditlek freed Mandela during his sweeping 1990 political reforms that paved the way for an end to apartheid. Millions of people in South Africa and around the world were glued to their TVs. Mandela hadn't been seen or heard for 27 and a half years. Former SABC TV political reporter Clarence Cater anchored the national broadcaster's live transmission on that momentous occasion. There's Mr. Mandela, a free man taking his first steps into a new South Africa. Mrs. Winnie Mandela next to him, waving to the crowds. Hand in hand, they leave the Victor Fister prison. That is the man who the world has been waiting to see. His first public appearance in nearly three decades. Walking strongly, step by step, further into freedom. The Nelson Mandela 27 Freedom Race in Pal today celebrates the release of former President Nelson Mandela from prison 22 years ago. The race course of 27 kilometers will include Drunken Stained Prison between Pal and Franschhoek, formerly known as Victor Festa Prison. The race is in its third year, but it is the first time that it's held on the actual date when Madiba was released from the prison in 1990. The SAPC's Chris Mabuya reports. The Freedom Race is designed to become a lasting tribute to Nelson Mandela from his first steps to freedom and his contribution to reconciliation in South Africa. The 27 kilometers signifies the number of years he spent as a freedom fighter behind bars. Runners will also be able to catch a glimpse of the house in which Madiba spent his last days as a prisoner in Pal. Among the thousands of participants will be 30 children from Emma's Tanda near a shelter in Nyanga that feeds, educates and offers extra mural activities for vulnerable orphans. Last year more than 10,000 people took part. Organizers say the number of participants is growing each year. A career soldier who has been on the same salary scale since 2006 has obtained a court order forcing the Defense Department to promote him and adjust his salary level. Pretoria High Court Judge Sulet Potterhill has ordered Minister Lindiwe Sisulu, Chief of the SANDF and Surgeon General, to promote 59-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Michael Carter to the rank of Colonel. The judge has also ordered that Carter be promoted to a higher salary level and be awarded nominal yearly promotions and increments backdated to October 2006. The Free State Education Department has blamed some suppliers for the delay to deliver textbooks at some schools in the province. Most schools have not yet received textbooks as well as learning materials. Spokesperson Howard Ndaba says they are cooperating with the suppliers in a desperate attempt to solve the problem. We are delivering stationery to schools as and when we receive them from our suppliers. There were problems with suppliers but we have met them several times and we are working together with them to make sure that stationery and learning support material reach the schools. There is no crisis. Learning and teaching is taking place in our schools. We are also calling on our teachers to improvise. Basic stationeries are already in schools. Two explosions have gone off outside a customs building in Nigeria's flashpoint city of Maiduguri, the base of Boko Haram Islamists who are blamed for a series of attacks. A spokesperson for a special military squad established to crack down on the group in the area has confirmed the explosions. Boko Haram has claimed attacks that have killed more than 200 people this year in seven parts of Nigeria. The group has largely targeted police and other symbols of authority.